Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22, the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough. The save has been an interesting one. You can see there Harry Cornick leading all goal scorers by four. We are sitting in fourth place, and we've got an exciting episode. We're going to do four matches today. We've got a home match against Charlton. We've got Luton Town and then Petersboro. All three of those teams are in top shelf contention. Then we've got Cambridge United. We'll finish the day. They're toward the bottom. And then next episode, we'll set up the season finale, the regular season finale. And we'll see with these teams if we can somehow clinch promotion. If you're enjoying the series, smash that like button. As always, thanks for watching, and I do appreciate it. Let's get to the first match. All right, a familiar opponent today. Carlton, they got Davison and Stockley up front. Morgan, Dobson, and Claire in the mid. Uh, Salary, Ennis, Pierce, Barker, Lavelle, and then McGilvray and go. Uh, normal lineup for us. All the traditional starters in. Let's go. We're at home at Privateer's Hold. Let's try to get a W. All right, let's go. Points are of the essence. Let's see if we can get some points here. I'd like to leave this game with three. I don't think draws are going to help us very much at this point. And they're going to push in. That's offsides already. So they tried to be very aggressive, but it doesn't work out for them. Oh, good Lord. They are definitely being aggressive. We'll see if we can uh, use that to our advantage. Morris tries to come up with that. He'll go back this way. Morris comes out with that. Morris still battling. And that's going to be an easy chip goal. How about that? Cornick puts one in there. I... <laughs> that was almost all too easy. I mean, they're just playing it, and Morris battles that one through, and their defensive line was just atrocious. And just an easy pass, and the ball's already in the back of the net before the keeper reacts. I don't even think the computer expected us to score like that. We'll take it. Drake's lead here early, 1-0. And this is exactly the form we need to have toward the end of the season. Here they go again, flying down the side. Morris getting involved big time today. Oh, that ball is... Let's see if we can get that. Lamb, great defense. Oh, Jago loses that in a bad spot. This is this could be the equalizer, and it is. Oh, my Lord. We did so great there to stop it, but it only just prolonged the equalizer. And both teams are off to the races here. We had a close match against them in the cup final. And then here, oh, they just do the same thing to us that we did to them on the other end. It's all square, one apiece. That is not how I wanted to start the game, but that's where we're at. Hmm. We're giving them so much room. Oh, my Lord. Let's see if we could get a... Oh, my God. Bravo destroyed there. Give him the yellow. The ref doesn't give anything. Just a free kick. Oh, and this could be a goal. It's goal filled with the save. Ah. Uh, excitement here right before halftime. Varga clears that one out. Let's see if we can move this one. We'll go back to Varga. Varga up the Cornick. Oh, and just not a good cross. And that will end it. We'll go to half. One all. Oh, it's so hectic. We need the W. Neither was that pass there. Oh, and they'll play the advantage there. I thought it was a clean tackle. The referee thought different. You all seem to think different as well. 
I've watched soccer on TV. I know they play rough. And here comes Morris. Oh, we couldn't get it through. Pablo Bravo looking. Oh, what a blast by Noel and McGillray gets to it, and that is a yellow card for Noel. The fans going ballistic, though. The advantage was playing. I, that was he had part of the ball. I'm I'm kind of against that. Purrington in for Lavelle. Couple of changes for us. Uh, Shigari in for Noel. Shihao in for Varga. Just to get some uh, more shooting ability out there. We'll take over here after the free kick. Morris. Bravo looking here. Bravo. And he does get an opening. Oh, it's off the post. Morris should have had that. Oh, my God. It was perfect. And the keeper, I don't think, touched it. We'll bring Koch in here for Morris just to get some fresh legs out. Jego. And that's taken by the keeper. We're running out of time. We really need this win. Jego. Oh, it, oh, it should have went. It should have went. McCormick had a chance to win there. Cornick, excuse me. We got to get the ball back. Only about three minutes left. That was badly played defense by Seawald. We don't see that a lot from him. They got plenty of room to come in here. And Schofield is there. We'll play this one up. And the ref's going to blow the whistle, and we're not going to get three points. Oh, those two early goals, such an exciting game, but not the result we needed. I was so happy at the start of the game, and then we just pondered it away. Shoot. Possession-wise and everything, it was pretty even. They didn't even have over 100 passes. We both played kind of crappy. Somehow we both get goals. All right, here we go. Here's the report from Japan. Possibly a good one in Fujiwara there. Shimizu, let's check him out. Not much, but let's see what... Uh, 220, so not much. We'll need to send him back out somewhere. He's done with Japan. I think I will send him to... Cameroon. Looking for playmakers. Alright, we have Luton Town next. They are three points ahead of us, so we definitely need a win on this one. Peterborough picked up a few extra points, so now they are eight points ahead of us. Oh. We we really gotta we gotta win. We've gotta win, win, win. That last game hurt us. And this one, if if Luton wins, they're gonna be closer to Peterborough and we won't. And that's just the bottom line. Also, Sheffield has two games in hand. So do we. That actually does help us out a little bit. Something to keep in mind. All right, Luton Town on the road today. They got Nuffield, Musquay, Lee, Clark, Campbell up front, Bell, Bradley, Burke, Naismith, Bree, and Sluga in goal. Only change for us, we got Koch out at right wing and Forsyth starting at center back. Bentley on the bench today. We've got to go out here and get some points. All right, evidently it's the best defense, us, versus the best offense, them. So let's see if we can... Um... Let's see if we can uh, mix them up here. We'll let Koch, he's got like a little room here. And bravo! Oh my god! How do we not score from that? And that is going to be our ball. Oh, we get a free kick. And it's headed out. 
Lua gets it. He'll go to Jago. Jago brings it out to Lamb. Lamb. He'll he'll get that back. Cornick. Ah, uh, he's gonna lose that. And it's a squandered possession here at the start of the game. And they play it over the top, and this is dangerous. Bell, I think if he could have uh, picked that up a little bit better. And this could still be dangerous. Oh, they're going to... A red card on... What? I didn't even do that. Are you kidding me? Oh, my Lord. The season could be done with that. Come on, Schofield. He missed. We've got to make changes, though. This is terrible news. Terrible news. And that could be the goal right there. Schofield with a save. And the pressure's going to be on us the whole game. Let's see what he can do here. A chance to whip it in. Oh, oh, it's an own goal! And our fans are going crazy there! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? We're down to 10 men. He whips it in. And the defender knocks it past the keeper, and somehow Bravo couldn't get to it. And Burke, unfortunately, puts it in the back of the net. Oh, that's great. A blessing from the football gods. And right here before half. I'm, I'm kind of in shock. I think that's the first time we've seen an own goal like that happen. And that's going to take us to halftime. And because of that, we are in the lead. 1-0. We're down to 10 men. And somehow this is working out at this point. Second half here. They have already made some subs. You know they want a goal. They're trying to get that automatic bid just as much as we are. We're going to hold them back. 20 to go. And Shihao will come up with that. And that's out. Coach in. Oh, and Shehal just couldn't get it. Jago fighting for it. And the ball pops out. Kalua ends up with it. In the corner. Oh, and Cornet couldn't get a good foot on it. The defender stuck his paw in there. That could have sealed the game. Bentley coming in for Forsyth. Bentley's a better defender. So here in the last nine minutes, hopefully this can help. Shihau looking upfield, finds Cornick. Cornick took down. And another red card. Now it's 10v10. What kind of match is this? Oh, my Lord. Oh, he folded up his leg. That's rough. So the advantage is now gone. He'll kick it down there. Two to go. I cannot believe this red card fest that we have going on here. And that could be a mistake. We don't want to give away the equalizer. They are pushing. Oh, good Lord, no. Oh, and offsides. Let's bring Morris in. Coach, just, just to waste some time. Let's just launch this one. And the ref's going to blow his whistle, and we're going to escape that somehow with three points. A desperately needed three points. That game, I don't know if my nerves could take that type of game. But somehow, two red cards in that. Now, the problem with that is Seawald's out, so we'll probably have to bring uh, Adeyemi in next game. Uh, because of the suspension. But good lord, that was three points we desperately needed. Look at this lopsided possession. And somehow we come out with the W in that. 
61%. I'll take it. Not even just my mind is just. Just win, baby. All right. We've got Peterborough up next. Three points puts us into third. Actually, a tie put, jumps us against Luton Town. We're now tied with them because of the last match. Peterborough, though, we got to win this one or at least get a draw just to keep it close. Our goal difference is looking healthier, but Luton Town does have more on us. It's unfortunate we give up that last goal. Plymouth Argyle back there has a much better goal difference as well. We've got to be careful on that one. But we've got to stop Peterborough. All right, Peterborough today. Dembele, Marriott up front, Broom Taylor, Smostics in midfield, Butler, Kent Thompson, Knight, and Ward in back, Pim and goal. We've got Almeida in at Ayemi on the left side there defensively. And Kalua's a little wore out. I may change him as well. We'll actually bring Biscop in for that one. It's a very important match. It's at home. We've got to get the win here. Six pointer they're talking already. I guess that does make it important. All right, Drake, Peterborough, let's go. Oh. This is the time of the year. Oh, that was a handball. There we go. Bring this one in. We'll just go in. And give the ball up. Oh, man, this is a costly mistake. Oh, oh bravo. Bravo. How close was it? Oh. Bravo. We'll play this up. Here comes Biscuit. He can run. And that ball's going to get knocked out for a throw. And, across the touch line, so a throw in here. And, a goal and Morris, and that's going to be a goal kick. I'm not sure what happened there. As really they highlight Cornick, it's nice to see one of our players up on the top. Oh, their guy, Clark Harris, is second. That's something to keep an eye out for. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. We'll give chase because, of course, we will. They go back to the back again. They're trying to draw us in. And that was almost a big mistake. And they're just playing with fire right now, but they are luring us up. Maybe looking for a counter. And that is exactly what they've done. And for some reason, Morris is back here playing defense. He's having to cover a little bit for Biscuit, who's a little bit wet behind the ears. Kalua couldn't make the start today. Oh, and there's Jego. Let's see what we could do. Bravo. Oh, that's not that good of a kick. It was for Varga, but it was just never, never in the right spot here. Lamb again, though. Let's see, and we're not going to get a chance to counter. Oh, and another exciting first half. We ran. We ran a lot. I know you all give me a hard time sprinting, but we had to to keep up with them. Cornick not even had a chance today. Bravo's had a couple. Nil-nil as we go to half. Start of the second half here. We need the home fans to get behind us. Hit that like button to show us your support in the team. Cornick getting involved here early. And he'll go to Bravo. Bravo looking. Oh, Bravo's passing has been atrocious. What is this? Oh my god! Oh, that had to be an own goal! That was in! I I want to appeal to the officiating crew. If they, if they come down here and score now, I'm going to get so mad. Schofield comes out, snipes that one. All right, two changes. Shehao in for Bravo. Watkins in for Biscop on that right back side. They are pushing here. Oh, that's a great pass. And that is a goal. 
And that is not what we needed to give up here at this game. And we're definitely going to have to make another change offensively. <laughs> Shoot. I almost changed Lamb out earlier. I probably should have. He was just too tired. Oh, the, he bent around that. Oh, 1-0 Peterborough. Come on. All right, Kornick out. I'm going to move Shehau to the striker. We're bringing Shigari in. Shigari has been a spark, and we need it in the next, last 14 minutes. We've got to come up with something. Is she how looking here? She how? She how? Oh God, get that ball! Oh, come on! Oh, she how split the defense and we couldn't do anything with it. And time is running out here. We've got to get the ball. And Watkins comes up with it. It's Shigari, and oh, they outrun Shigari. We're in the extra time. Oh, they're just going to play possum now. Oh, they mess up. And it is to Shigari. Oh, Varga. Oh, my God. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Oh, disappointed is not even the word I would use. And the guy that's second place on scoring this season puts them in the lead, and that is going to hurt us trying to get that automatic bid. We may actually not be able to catch them now. Oh, my Lord. Peterborough takes this one 1-0. One the last two games has been atrocious for possession. We had eight shots. And nothing to show for it. So we'll drop down the fourth. And now we fall nine points behind Peterborough. That was probably the worst result ever. We do have Cambridge, who is one point out of relegation. We definitely need a win against them. Like, that's all we could settle for here at the end of this episode. All right, big match today on the road against Cambridge United. Tracy, Brophy, Vitter, Ironside, Digby, May. Dunk, Okadina, Jones, and Williams. McKenzie, Lyle, and Goal. They are playing four in the back, so there's a chance. We've been struggling against five in the back teams. Hopefully today we can break through. We need three points to keep reality in check for the last regular season episode coming up. Let's do this. All right, Cambridge and the Drakes. There's Seawald already getting involved after he's done his suspension. Bravo looking here. He's going to go down the line to Varga. Oh, and there's a good goal. Jego took the shot there. And the goalkeeper, I meant good goalkeeping, not good goal. And there's Bravo, and we're being very aggressive today. And there's a tackle over there. Good Lord. There we go again, another one. And Bravo looking here. And there's Kornick and that's in! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! That's the start we needed! Let's go! Let's go! And Kalua lift him up and it's dirty dancing style. Oh my god, we needed that start here. Bravo brings it over, centers it up, hits Kornick who just slipped in there. Boom, left-footed off the crossbar and puts it in. Nothing really the keeper could do there. Drake's lead 1-0. Let's see what we could do here. Oh, and that was just deflected. Hornick, he'll bring that back just to give some space. We got a cutter here. Here's Kalua. And Kalua, oh, Kalua just give it right to 
the keeper. And they're going to play this one ahead. And Bentley is over there. And Bentley does a good job. I'm not sure what that was, but Brophy's going to come up with it. And they've got a chance to run a little here. We'll play that one up. And this is very dangerous. And Schofield is on it, thankfully. I know you all are not going crazy. I changed shirts between the last match and this one because I was burning myself up. That's got to be offsides. If you don't think that I get involved in the games I play... Kalua keeps that one out. We approach halftime. Once again, we're just streaking down the field. Here's Kalua. Kalua playing up really far. Bravo coming up with this one. Bravo, great move. Bravo. Oh, come on. He held him. I I cannot believe that. They're playing a little rough, too. This is this is bad. We're way out of sync. We're going to hold on to it here. Morris. Jago. Oh, they get a free kick. Bunk. Bunk, I tell you. We're playing like we're down five. But we're going to go to halftime up one nil. We, we set out to get an early goal. We did that. We've just got to put more. We've got to get three points in this one. We can't let them come back in the second half. Over here, we're going to... Oh, good Lord! And a yellow card out on that one. Joe Ironside. Or Varga. No wonder he's retiring at the end of the season. We'll go short. Jago. Bravo. Varga in the Cornick. And they're going to call offside. That was close. Let's see if we can play it over the top. Cornick trying to get to it. He will. Cornick slicing in. Oh, what a play. What a goal by Morris. Yes, let's go. Drake's lead 2-0. Oh, what a play. I almost dropped my controller. Oh, yes. Let's freaking go. Just a great move by Cornick, and then he just brings it back and just flipped it over the keeper. Morris, the 3,000 IQ. Bloop. I don't even think he meant to do that. It just happened that way. Let's go. Jago to Cornick. And there's Coin. Oh, and that was deflected. It looked like by the defender, but not. Let's see. Did he get a piece of it or Coin? He's very bad. Oh, it did. It went off his face. Okay. All right. A couple of subs here. Almeida in for no. Shigari in for Bravo. And that's what we'll finish this game out with is that lineup. That was a bad header. And Kalua comes up and gets this. Oh! I guess it was a good challenge. Good passing coin. Here's Kornick. Oh! He just tried to launch one. But that is going to waste some time as they'll have to re-enter it. Five minutes of stoppage time, though. That's kind of surprising. They play that ahead. We'll get a free kick out of it. Seawald's going to play this one way up. And the cross is blocked. And that's going to be the end of the game. We get a much needed three points for the table against Cambridge United. It does not help them surviving relegation. 
But for right now, it helps us maybe stay in the hunt. We've got four games left for the next episode. Maybe it keeps us in the hunt for automatic promotion or promotion in general. That's more like it right here. 54% possession. Almost 100 passes for both teams. They had three saves, though. We should have had more goals, it looks like. They didn't have any shots. It didn't feel like that. My lord. All right, we've actually had a deal come in for Casimir Biscup. We've been trying to sell him. And if we can get a million dollars out of him, I will definitely take that. I'm going to say 1.3. And they're going to do it. We just sold Biscup for 1.3. Very good. Very good indeed. Biscup entered the team worth about 575000 We just sold him for 1.3. That is good. Uh, these right backs could make us some money. He obviously won't leave till the end of the season, but that is nice because with Watkins coming in, we don't really have a need for Biscuit. All right. So to end this big episode, we look at the standings. We are tied for third with Luton Town. They have a better goal difference. We're now seven points out of Peterborough. We have two games in hand on them, though. It's, it's a chance. We've got Doncaster up next. They are in the relegation zone. Should be a win. And then let's go. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. Um, I've got to change. Okay, there we go, the May. Then we take on Port Vale. They're 19th. That's a winnable game. Then we take on Lincoln City. They're 16th. That's a winnable game. And then we end the season against Wigan Athletic. That's a mid-table. So two low tables and two mid-table games left. There's an outside chance, but right now it's really looking like we could be just playoffs. And anything can happen in the playoffs. So let me know what you all are thinking. Let me, know, let me know what you all think the possibilities of either or are. Leave a like for this episode in four games. This has been a tremendous season, and it's getting hectic right now. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these April Patreon supporters. If they were the safety dance, I'd do them at an 80s flashback party. Critias, Zachary McKinley, Nicholas Absher, Azure Rain, James Matisse, The Least Expected, Kiana Handy, and Party Commissar.